Now let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to save it where I normally save the programs. Um, so it's on the desktop. So, so actually, what happened? Well, what happened with, with my PC was I actually I actually did this program, but because I mentioned that there was a problem with my PC, I, I had to I, I had to basically redo it, right? So that's what that's what happened. So you can see over here, I have it here, but um, I'm I'm going to go ahead and create another. I'll delete this later on, but for now, just so it doesn't conflict with this, I'm going to go ahead and create another folder and call it is um call it is Prime Two. Okay, it's Prime Two, but then I'll um. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll delete it later on and change this back to his prime. Yeah, so actually, prime numbers, not this prime. Prime numbers. I did this and I was, I was about to. Prime numbers too. I was about to upload it and then I had, I, had a piece, uh, I had a problem with my Mac and so I had to fix it. So I had to redo it because I lost the, the file, the file itself. So, yeah, but it's, 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 it's always good to re redo, redo, redo a program, so that's, that's fine. So I'll, I'll create a folder called it, call it Prime Numbers 2, and then I'll save this here also as Prime, not Prime Numbers 2, but just Prime Numbers. And I'll, I'll delete the, the first original one later on. Okay, so save that, and then now I just want to see what it's going to print over here. Well, nothing is going to happen, right? Nothing is going to happen because we've only just defined the functions. We haven't called it called the functions. We've only defined it. Nothing is going to happen if we don't call it. Okay, so d over here, once you run the program, it's just going to, we've only defined it, so nothing's going to happen un until we call it. Since the main function is what's basically r running our program, we have to go ahead and call it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and call the main function this way. And I'm going to run it now. Now it says, please enter a number. I'm going to enter 5, and it returns true, meaning the 5, five is, um, is a prime number. But the program said we should display a message indicating whether the number is prime or not. So we know that this function is going to return true or true or false, right? So I'm going to create an if statement here. Oh, if an if statement here and say if, and I'm going to go out and call the the function. I'm going to if I'm going to say if is prime. Okay. Now this this if this whole if condition here is going to be true. Okay. If so so this if condition is going to run. If, if block is going to run. If this whole statement here returns true and we know that this prime function returns true or false right so first of all i want to type i want to provide in the user number here we, ha we have to provide an argument we designed the is prime function to accept in a number and we have the number the user's number here so we can just pass it here as an argument so if it's prime then do something right right then so basically then do something don't just put a comment here for now and just say do something and then let's have an else okay meaning if it's if it's not a prime number if it returns anything other than true if it, if it's false then do some do another thing uh, let's say do do something else okay so this block here is going to run if this whole thing returns true and we know that the is prime function ret returns true or false else it, so basically if it doesn't return true then it's going to return false right so el the else block is always going to, is going to run if this is not true so else do 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 something else too. Okay, so just know that the prime function itself returns. It doesn't print it. It just returns true or false. And if it returns true, this if block will run if everything here is results to true. Okay, else then it's false. So it's going to we're going to do what's in the else block. So if it's, if the user number is a prime number, so if it's prime the user number, we pass in the user the user's number. It checks all of it. Turns true or false. What we want to do is just display a message. Oops. Sorry, let's just display a message here saying that so I'm going to use a print function, and I'm going to I'm going to type in I'm going to provide arguments to it and then and then print it. So I'm going to say print user number. Okay, I'm going to have a string and say is a prime number, and then I'm just going to copy this line, paste it here, and say user number is not. I'm going to make a capital a prime number. Okay, so in that case, then if the number is a prime number, it's going to go ahead and, and display this. If the number is not a prime number, it's going to go ahead and display this. Now, 
Um, the print function, when, when you pass in arguments to the print function this way, they are disp displayed with a space separate in them, right? They are displayed with a space separate in th these arguments. So if the user number was, let's say, 4, this is going to be displayed as 4 space is a prime number. Okay, when you pass in multiple arguments into the print function, for, for them to be displayed, they'll be displayed with a, with a space separate, uh, separate in them by default. That's how it works. Okay. So now, now, now we have a, a user-friendly message, you know, that tells the person, oh, this is a prime number, this is not a prime number. So we can at least, you know, tell. You know, I, I mean, so that the user, the user doesn't have to figure out what's what. Although it's, it still makes sense, true, false, right? But it, this is much better instead of having the user see true or false. But you know, but that, you know, that also makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and run this again. Type in five, and now we see five is a prime number, right? Before we go ahead and cross check, I have a page open um, on my, my browser to compare and check to see the prime numbers. Before we check, we check out you know a bunch of them to make sure it's true or it's correct. I want to basically dis uh, separate separate this line with it, you know put a line break between the first line and the second line here. So there are a couple of ways to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to go ahead and show you one of them, right? So I want to put so this is basically the line displaying the question right so right after that um, I want to show you something if you if you call the print function and you type in you tell it to print this right it's going to go ahead and do just that after I give it a number of let's say five it's going to do a go ahead and do just that it's going to print exactly what you, what you told it to print here we can see that it's exactly that it, it did exactly that but the way the print function works is after after it was after it's done printing whatever you told it to print which is this it's going to it all it always ends with a new line. The print function by default always ends with a new line, meaning after after you, you after it's printed whatever you told it to print, okay, the, the the position will be here. But then it ends or it moves the position from where it's at over here to the next line, and so anything that comes after this print function, okay, is displayed on the next on that next line. So after it was done displaying this for us, okay, the position was here. The print function always ends in a new line character. Uh, sorry, a new line. Okay, by default, it always ends in a new line. Meaning, after it's done printing it, it moves the position from where it's at over here to the next line, and stays there. And anything that comes after that print function is displayed on that next line. That's how it works by default. So if you call in the print function and you pass in nothing, you are still you are still telling it to print something, right? You are still telling it to print something, but this time you are t that's something you are telling it to print is nothing. <laughs> in other words, you're telling it to print nothing. Because you've, you've called the print function, you, you provided nothing in here. So in other words, you're saying print nothing, okay, because I provided nothing in, 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 the, in the parentheses. So it's going to basically do that for you. Instead of printing this string here, it's going to go ahead and print nothing on this line. It's going to print nothing on this line. But then by default, we, we, don't, we know that the print function always ends with a new line. After it's done printing whatever I told you to print, it's going to move the position from where it's at over here to the next line, okay? And anything that comes after that print function will be displayed from this line going. So in other words, when you call the when you call the print function providing in nothing, it's going to, it's going to be basically print an empty line. Okay, it's going to print an empty line. But because by default the print function always ends with a new line, it's going to move the position position from where it's at over here to the next line. And anything that comes after that that print function is going to be displayed from this line going. Okay, from this line going. Okay, so calling calling the print function. Passing in nothing gives you an empty line, just like that. Okay, so that's that's one way to go go about it. So let's just test that. Type in let's say four, and it says four is not the prime number. So you can see that it's given us this message or this or this message. So I have a page here open, and it's the first thousand prime numbers on on, on Wikipedia I, I found. So let's just go ahead and check. I, I think for the most part it was correct, but you know I this is not, I haven't verified this in any way. But then I, it's on Wikipedia and. Uh, we can, at least we can we can trust it, right? If anything, we, you know, someone someone should call it out. But I, for for the most part, I think it's correct. I can see from here. Okay, so let's you know let let's start let's try the basic ones, right? So I'm going to switch back. Let's try the basic ones. Let's we, over here. The question even told us that. Um, it said over here that um, a prime number is a number that's only even divisible. You know, over here it said for example, the number five is prime, right? So when we type in five like we did before, it says that five is a prime number. And over here, it says the number six, however, is not 
prime because it can't. Okay, so we know six is not a prime number. So when we, when we run this again and we type in six, we know it's not a prime number, right? So it says six is it's not a prime number. So our program is working so far. Now let's go check the complex ones, right? Let's let's go deep, right, into numbers that I, I don't even know. I, I have to think about it first to see if it's a prime number or even, or even do some calculation first in my head. So let's just start with, a, you know, start with this, like 6317, right? So 6317, that's where we are. So let's go ahead and test that. So let's run this and type in 6317. It's supposed to be a prime number. So 6317. And it says 6317 is a prime number. Let's try 6323. Right? So 6323. And it says 6323 is a prime number. Let's let's go even deeper and try 7481. So 7481. See, 7481 is a prime number. Let's try 746, oh, sorry, 7649. So 7649. 7469 is a prime number. Now let's try something that's not on the list here. So between 7469, sorry, 7649 and 7669, let, let's try some numbers there. So we know 7650 is not on the list here. So we know it's not a prime number. So 7650 should, should be not a prime number, right? So 7. Six five zero. And we can see that it's not a prime number. Let's try. So we're here, right? We know seven six five zero is not a prime number. So let's try seven six five one. So basically, from seven six five one all the way to seven six six nine. Oh, sorry, all the way to seven six 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 eight. All of them are not prime. Are not prime numbers. So seven six five zero. Let's try. Let's keep trying them and see. Seven six five one. Should shouldn't be a prime number. 7652 shouldn't be a prime number. Although it looks like it, right? 7652 it looks kind of, you know, like a prime number. I mean, I mean, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm, what I'm saying. So not a prime number. We can go, keep going because we didn't see them on the list, right? 7653, not a prime number. Wait, where did I type it? 7653, it's not a prime number. 7654 shouldn't be a prime number. Because we can see that from seven six five zero all the way to seven six six eight, they're all not prime numbers. But as soon as so let's try seven six 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 eight. Not a prime number. But as soon as we hit seven six six nine over here, we know that's a prime number. So let's try that. Seven six six nine. Now we can see that uh, we can see that that's a prime number, right? So seven six six nine is a prime number because it's on this list over here. Okay, and, and so this will work for everything. So this program will basically take care of it. Right? We can actually write a loop, um, and uh, write a loop that basically uses this function and um, displays, you know, displays, um, let's say, we can even write a, write, write a program, I just add a loop here using this function just to display this list, this th the, the, you know, basically the first thousand uh, prime numbers. We can do that because we ha now we have a function that, that checks to make sure it's a prime number before it's displayed. We can do that. Um, yeah, so it's working. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them as always, as always. And you know, I love doing this. Um, take care of yourselves. Uh, sorry about the, uh, the the couple of days delay. Yeah, I feel bad myself, you know, because I because I you know, if I don't do this, I I feel I feel very bored and I feel very sad because I like doing this, and. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments below, I'll do everything to respond to them. Take care of yourselves. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good sleep. Have a nice time. <laughs> I always say these. And I'll see you next time with the next program. Okay? All right, then. Bye-bye.